Greetings, Earthlings! My name is Zero Jake, and welcome to Avorion! That's right, yes? Yes, it is. Good. Uh, Avorion is a new game on Early Access, which is a mix between Space Engineers and X3, or whatever kind of 4X game you prefer. Uh, you get a build your own ship, like Space Engineers, and you get to go around mining, fighting, doing all the 4Xs that are in 4X. Anyway, uh, so we're going to be starting new, uh, well, we're going to be starting a gameplay, game through, play through, whatever the hell. Uh, so let's create a new save, uh, difficulty is going to be normal, we've got full collision damage, and we're not in creative mode. Yes. So uh, we're just going to load the game, well, it's going to create the world and all sorts of things. I've played a, about an hour or two, just so that I can get used to how this game will this game actually run recording during loading screens because if not then that would have been annoying anyway yes so any moment now we should spawn in with our lovely mining ship that you start with and it's also technically the escape pod so if uh, if i go here yeah let's let's go backwards a bit so i can actually see and then i just need to scroll out yeah so this the, this here is our mining ship so if i hold Control, then we can look around. Good, yeah. So this is our mining drone. Uh, it's got two mining lasers, as you can see, uh, and it's got you know an engine, and it's it's quite fast and maneuverable as well. Uh, this is a space station, a uh, procedurally generated space station, mind you. Everything in the game that isn't built by a player is procedurally generated using algorithms, which is very nice. Uh, so you can see, very cool. Uh, so this station um, on the Universal Church of Unpronounceable uh, they're nice guys they're good um, and this is a resource depot so if we like press F to interact we can talk to it we can have a look at the bulletin board there are no missions available which is annoying I should really not spasm the camera we can also see how much iron they've got in well how much materials we've got in stock so you build ships have materials and each material is better than the last one um, I know the titanium is a straight upgrade from iron, and I know Avorion is the rarest, and the amount of each one increases the closer you get to the core, and they're also, you know, more expensive to buy. Uh, if you look in the top left, you can see that we've got 10,000 credits, and we've got no resources whatsoever, which is very nice. Well, it's, it, it's not that useful, but, uh, well, we'll deal with it. So, the first thing that we want to do is we want to uh, start going, oh, I don't want to... I don't want to see things, thank you. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go over to an asteroid and we want to mine it. Now, I just need to make sure I don't crash into it because, um, as in Space Engineers, it does take a while to slow down, and that's going to be a problem. So yeah, we can just use our mining laser, uh, break this thing apart, and then it should give us a lovely, decent amount of iron. And so if we stop moving for a second, we should be able to see we've got 163 iron. That's good. It's not enough, though. We need more. We will always need more. More iron for the iron god. So yeah, beginning of the game, just mine things. Just mine iron. Uh, now, you can see many asteroids around, but you can tell that one is iron because, first of all, it's got these particle effects going around it. You know, these brown particle effects. And it's got what looks like to be iron ore veins, which is very nice. Uh, the controls are, uh, the flight controls are a bit different to Space Engineers, so you may see me boosting forward instead of going upwards or downwards and, like, getting confused about how to roll the ship. That's because I'm still not used to how this thing runs. But I am sure that that will change. So if we get all of this, that should be good. I'm just go and mine the rest of the stuff from here. Now, you can see in the bottom right, it shows the distance uh, like I've targeted it which I can do with middle mouse button I can target this one I can target this one uh, it says how much iron is in here now that's the amount of iron that this asteroid has in total but it's not the amount of iron that we get by default we get less than that because uh, this mining drone is very inefficient so if we hold shift we can have a look at the menus up here if we go to ship menu we can have a look at our iron mining turret which has an efficiency of 14 so whenever uh, we mine uh, essentially 100 iron, we actually mine 14 instead, 
and the accuracy is 100% because there's mining laser, range is not that good, it, it's kind of rubbish, really kind of rubbish, uh, which is not very good. And we've got some titanium over there, uh, I'll make sure to keep that there. We want titanium. Titanium is needed for power generators because you can't create one with iron. But since we've now got, you know, 755 iron, we're going to press B. Oh no, I can't edit your drone found ship first. Fine, I'll build a ship. Uh, right, so we want to found a ship, and then we want to enter a name of the ship. Now, uh, I've typically gone with the Avalon as my ship of choice, and it costs 500 iron to found it, um, which is kind of fine. So yeah, I'm going to call it the Avalon, uh, because of course I am, and I'm actually going to... Uh, for all of my ships, um, I'm going to put ZAV in front so that I can tell that it's actually mine and not someone else's. As you can see, we can see our lovely, lovely cube ship. Uh, Borg cube with nothing. Just shut up. I, I know. Just go away. I know what I'm doing. Uh, you can see it's kind of glitching through places, but that's because beta, I believe. Yeah. So what we can do is we can press B to go into build mode, and you can see it's all confusing. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that in a second, because what we really need are a few things. First of all, we need an engine, because without an engine we get nowhere. And I can I, I can decrease and increase the size of the, uh, the engine so that we don't use that much iron. Note, we only have 250, uh, which is not that much, but it should be enough for us to get out of here. So we need an engine, uh, which will go in that direction. We've got a green arrow to show which direction we're going in. The next thing we want is we want thrusters. And these thrusters, these are braking thrusters, but they're also our turning thrusters. So depending on where I put it, you can see on the right we've got all this different statistics. And depending on where I put it, you can see that the, um, the value for yaw and pitch and roll will change along with it, and also the braking thrust. We can also uh, in engage in mirror mode, which will be useful, so we can place the thrust here, and then let's do y-axis and place the thrust here, and then, you know, we've got a lovely maneuverability. Uh, if we have a look here, yeah, that's good. And then, now that we've got maneuverability and we've got an engine, uh, what we now want, we need a crew quarter, because uh, without crew quarters we have no crew, and without crew this thing will slowly but surely die. Uh, however, we have noticed that we don't have any iron left, so instead of doing this, I'm going to press B to get out. We should be able to move a bit, get away from that, whatever that is. So yeah, we, we, you can see in the bottom right, hull is uh, going to slowly reduce because we have no mechanics on board. So we're going to press T to exit out into our lovely ship here, and we're going to go off and find another iron asteroid. Noting that when holding space, uh, it boosts, well, it engages a boost, which is useful. Right, this should be close enough. Let me change the camera angle so this is much better for me. And then we just need, like, quite a bit of iron, and then we'll head back to our ship and get it done, and then we'll head over to a station and get some crew members. Because otherwise we're going to slowly lose hit points on that ship and it's not going to be very lovely when my beautiful design of really, really basicness is instantly destroyed by uselessness. As everything usually is. Right, so I'll be back in a second once I've uh, harvested some more iron and, uh, and I'll head back to the ship. So, back in a second. Okay, so we're now back at our ship. Go away, I don't want that, thank you. Uh, so when we get close enough, I can press T to enter the ship. Very nice. So we're now back in. I'll scroll out so that you can see our lovely, lovely ship. Make sure that this thing is actually in the correct area. Enter build mode again, and what we want now is we want a crew quarter. Um, we're going to need at least, uh, let's say, we're going to need a crew of more than this. So let's decrease this. So. Uh, I can hold down W and move the cursor left and right in order to increase or decrease the size. I can also D, uh, I, I can add A, S, and D. So S will go uh, the Y axis, A will go the X, uh, the Z axis, and D will go the X axis in terms of size. So what we want to do is we probably want something like this. 
and that's crew quarters. So you can see that this has increased the uh, amount of crew that we can have by two, and uh, we can also get a cargo bay and increase the amount of stuff that we can hold in our cargo bay by something. Please make it even. Right, so if we do this, and then we can have a cargo bay here. And then the last thing that we want is we probably want another section of thrusters. But these these thrusters will mostly be braking thrusters, uh, so we can decrease width, we can decrease uh, there, and decrease this again. We can't rather, but yeah, we can place that there. That will give us some more braking power, and that's good. Now, since we've got our ship all lovely and done, we don't need this because it's stationary. We don't want that. We don't want that. Um, we can go and put some mining turrets on here. Uh, let's mirror on X, place here, and then we should have two mining lasers. So we now have our lovely uh, new ship, which is now outfitted for mining. However, we don't have any crew, and we're going to need that. So if we look here, ship has no crew, not enough mechanics, not enough uh, people m mining the guns, and we're very, very weak. So first of all, we're going to head over to this resource depot and see if they've got any crew. So yeah, we can hire a crew here, but first of all, we need to stop mining. So let's move over and then we should be able to dock. Just need to get close enough and then we can press F to dock. Hire crew members uh, and we're going to need how much? How many? How many? Uh, let's hire. We can hire 35? I didn't realize that. Uh, so let's hire six for now. And then we can go. Uh, what's the hotkey? The hotkey is P. Okay. So we can go into our ship menu, you know, lovely ship, these guys, they are more efficient, they are now 17, uh, their range is higher, I think, maybe, uh, but they deal more damage to stone, which is good, allows us to mine stone quicker. Uh, as, so we've got the need for, we need four of these guys, four uh, miners, to be able to operate our mining drills, so let's go one, two, three, four, so those will now work, and then we just need a mechanic. And so this mechanic will make sure that we ourselves do not lose our um, integrity, our hull integrity. As you can see, we've actually lost some. So let's talk to this guy. Can we get repairs? No, we can't get repairs here. We've got no bulletins available. So we've now got our lovely ship here. We've got our lovely ship. It is bigger than the mining drone. Uh, I, I can actually give you a size reference if you want. Uh, but, you know, it, it does drift around a lot. Look at that. That's another... Uh, that's a frigate sized ship, I think, uh, of the church. I'm basically going to call these green guys the church. Uh, but yeah, also randomly generated. This station, randomly generated. There's another station over there, over somewhere. This station, which is a shipyard, which should be able to repair our ship. Actually, we can go over here and we can repair ship. Yes, so we've now repaired our ship. It should be 100. Yes, so you I'll, I'll, I'll show you through the UI. So up here we've got inventory stuff. You should be able to see my mouse. If not, then that's going to be annoying. You can Over here is the sector that we're in. Uh, we'll talk about more of that in a later episode. Uh, down here we've got two bars. The top one is uh, the capacitor, I believe. No. The top one of these two bars here, the top one, is how much power we're using out of how much power we generate. The bottom one, this yellow one here, is the capacitor, so how much power we've got stored. And as um, I increase the amount of power that we consume, uh, then this will slowly trickle down when I'm boosting, for example, because boosting drains a lot of power. This blue one, uh, I have no clue what that is. I think that's shields, but we don't have any. And then this uh, bottom one here, which goes from green to red, is the health bar. And you can see that's now at 100 instead of what it was if you look back at the video. Uh, and then up here we've got uh, three different bars. The top one is our speed. So if I start increasing speed, you can see that it, it's blue. Yeah, it's blue. And then it's also telling me if I'm actually boosting in that direction. And then if I turn around, it will turn to a different color. So if I boost first of all, and then I turn around, you can see it goes to a different color, showing that we are going in an opposite direction to our vector of travel. And then up here, uh, I think, is the hyperspace um, drive thing, which is basically the capacitor on the hyperspace drive. Um, so whenever we make a jump to another sector without using a wormhole, um, it will 
take time for the hyperspace capacitor to get back at which point uh, we will be able to jump again and it should stop the capacitor from draining our own power reserves noting that if our power reserves go low then it will start killing crew members and that's not a good thing to do so if we boost over to here noting that the reason why I added um, another uh, another thruster here was so that we could actually slow down quicker. Uh, we can now mine with our lovely ship, which should be faster, he says. But yeah, you can see that this looks quite a bit faster, or at least I think it is. And so we should be able to mine some more iron in order to expand uh, our current ship. Um, the resources in the top left, resource top left, uh, don't actually take any inventory space. The stuff that take inventory space are commodities, so we don't really need our cargo space. What's over there? That's an aluminium mine. I think we can go over there and talk to it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go mining for some more iron so that we can continue next episode to do some more things. Uh, and then we should, in the next episode, go finding some uh, aluminium not aluminum, because I'm British and therefore I will say it properly. Yeah, actually the, the, the developers here uh, have spelt it correctly. Good. There's some aluminium. Uh, titanium over there, rather. That's aluminium mine. We don't have aluminium. Interesting. Uh, aluminium, I think, is a commodity rather than a resource that you can use. Yeah, so uh, we'll be back next episode in order to expand our ship and have a look at uh, some more systems this game has to offer. But until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission.